And hi everybody, Jim Stevens coming to you from the 2019 World Series by Leonhardt here in St. Vendel, Germany, as we now bring you the Open Singles Final. And an interesting matchup it is over on the left side of your screen. That's the 20-year-old German Nico Volgemuth. And on the right, of course, you recognize him. That's the American Tony Spreidemann playing in his first ever World Championship final, not on a tornado table, or at least including one, because he does have a multi-table world championship in the past. Nico Volgemuth, a member of three World Championship national team champ gold medalists, back in 2014, 15, and 17 for Team Germany. And currently, right now, the number one rated player in Germany. Of course, Tony Spreidemann, the number one rated player in the world. And here we go. First game underway, best three games out of five for the championship. And that shot attempt by Volgamuth knocked up into the air and off the table by Spreidemann. So we'll have a look at how Nico Volgamuth does in a very stressful situation, a world championship type final here on the Leonhardt table. Tony Spreidemann, we'll have a look at how he changes his game when he plays on other tables. He does not use that far wall tic-tac passing series nearly as often on non-tornado tables. Volgamuth is going to work this one up the table, two rod to the five. Nico back along the wall, taken away by Tony. Of course, one thing Tony Spreidemann has is a tremendous amount of experience and, of course, one of the smartest players the sport has ever seen and trying to add a non-tornado world championship to his resume here at the World Series by Leonhardt. Spreidemann passing on the near side, looking to shoot the ball there. Volgamuth able to keep it out. Tony also with a hustling save and holds on to the ball. Nice play on both sides of the table. Tony angles that one up, and it's picked off here by Nico, who will set it up, rock it, and come back down the middle. Just sort of tucked that one between Tony's men to make it 1-0. Referees for the match. Yannick Correa. The head referee for the match and the timer, Wolfgang Breuer of Austria. Tony looking to answer, and he does as he finds that hole to the near side. And we're even at 1-1 here in this first game. Again, best three games out of five for the championship. Volgamut able to pass this one through. As he sets it up, looks for the lead and finds it. It's now 2-1. The German table soccer program really producing a lot of good young players. This is a country that has dominated the junior events over the last couple of big world championship multi-table events. That one with a left hand into the goal. So Tony Spreidemann, who does a lot of his scoring, certainly on the tornado table using that left hand from goal, gets one from Volgamuth to make it 3-1. Tony passing it along the near wall. That one blocked up into the air and off the table by Nico. Still 3-1 here in the first game. The open singles final here at the Leonhardt World Series in St. Wendel, Germany. Nico Volgamuth will put the ball back into play. Quick pass attempt. Picked up here on the 5 by Tony who sends it in to make it 3-2. Something Tony does very well. It's interesting to see the, the adjustments that Spreidemann makes when he moves to a different table. We've seen it for years in multi-table events. Every multi-table player has to make those sorts of adjustments. Some good defense by Spreidemann here, and then knocks it right back into his own goal. Hits 4-2, an own goal from Tony Spreidemann, and he's back behind by two goals here in this first game. And a timeout is called by Nico Volgamuth. Tony Spreidemann will put the ball back into play after the timeout from Nico. Trailing 4-2. As Tony puts it into play. Try to go with a quick left hook. It does roll through to its three rod. And Spreidemann will set it up looking to cut the lead to just one goal. From snake shot position. Spreidemann near side. Blocked and taken away by Nico. Volgamuth tries to work it up the table. Grabbed by Spreidemann. Tony 
As that pass stolen away by Nico, who can win game number one right here. Germany's Nico Volgamut. Shot at him, blocked and taken away by Spredeman. Tony with the left hand on the two rod. Sends it up and in. So we talked about Nico scoring with the left hand on the two rod. And back comes Tony to cut the lead to just one goal with a left-handed effort of his own. Knocked down here. Spredeman almost able to steal it. It comes back to Volgamut on the five. He dances with it, looks to pass it, tries to come along the wall, spread him in with a block, and then Nico is able to go through that near lane. Again, setting it up, looking to claim game number one. Nico Volgamut. Shot attempt taken away here by Spredeman. Nico did a nice job of taking his time and then didn't really execute the shot the way he wanted to. Tony now chipping it up, knocks that one wide of the goal with a five, and then picks it up with that same five rod. Steps into the forward position and looks to advance the ball 5-3, to three, which he does. Sprayed him and quick flip over far side, and just like that, it's 4-4. Four, four. And Tony Spreadman will call time out. So a good start from Nico Volgamut here as he went ahead 4-2 on that own goal from Tony a little earlier on. But after the timeout, Spreadman has come out to get the next two goals to tie it at 4 in a game that you would think that Nico really needs to win, when you get a lead like that against a legendary player like Spredeman, you need to put him away, you need to close the deal and win that opening game. But Tony has tied it up at four. Nico will put the ball back into play. Nico Volgamuth with a big crowd behind him as well. And in a situation that he's never really been in, playing in a championship this size, this important, does hold on to it here with a five. And then brushes it through the lane. Another chance here for Nico to win game number one. From snake shot position, Nico Volgamut. Again, taking his time and taking a timeout. So it's been an interesting first game so far. The early lead for Volgamut. Spreidemann finding ways to score. He is able to tie it up at four. And that's the one thing about Tony Spredeman's singles game, no matter which table it's being played on. He can score in so many different ways. It's not just the three rod with Tony Spredeman. It's the five, it's the two, it's with either hand. Again, Volgamuth will put the ball back into play. Nico walks it and fires it home. It's one game to nothing. Nico Volgamuth comes out to win the opening game of this open singles final. Tony Spreadman will put it into play, opening up game number two here momentarily. First player to win three games will be the champion. Trailing one game to nothing. Tony Spredeman sets the ball on his five row, and here we go. Spredeman tried to go along the wall, and then does go quickly along that near wall. He'll have the first scoring opportunity of game number two. Spredeman walks it past that big dot, comes back to the center, and then finds the near corner. So Tony Spredeman worked the ball, walked it around until he got a good read. Then he executed with authority to that near side to make it 1-0 here in game number two. That one brushed to the center man by Volgamut. And the quick conversion here evens it up at one goal apiece. Spredeman's pass attempt blocked and then the rebound grabbed by Tony on the five row and he is able to score it to make it 2-1. Again, Tony's versatility, his ability to score with either hand from anywhere on the table, pays off there with a goal and a lead. Wolgamuth sends that one forward. Tony able to grab it on the five. Spreadman leading 2-1 here in the second game. Wolgamuth leading one game to nothing, and that quick left hook beautifully released. It's 3-1. So Spreadman, as he so often does after a loss, comes out with a strong performance to open up the next game. And he has certainly done that here. Volgamuth trying to get a possession. That one blocked back into the goal by Nico. As Tony went with that quick pull kick with a left hand. It's now 3-2. 
Spiderman fakes the up, goes back down along that near wall. Tony will regrip and then come back with a pull kick. He knew the clock was running, knew he wasn't going to be able to set it up once again in snake shot position, so he went with a quick left hook. And anybody who knows Tony Spreiderman knows he has a really good, I might have said left hook, I meant pull kick. He has a really good pull kick. Nico nicely along that near wall. And again, continuing to shoot the ball well, Nico Volgamuth has cut the lead to one. He already leads one game to nothing. And the shooting percentage so far on the three rod has been very good for Nico. Tony passing that one off that back wall, looking to even this match up at one game apiece as he sets it up and takes a look and finds that hole back down the middle. So Tony Spreaderman responds after that opening game loss, and we are tied at one game apiece. Nico Volgamuth won the first game. Tony Spreiderman was able to come back and win game number two. And we open up game number three with Nico having a possession on the five. So he looks to advance it five to three. And this is dangerous for Spreiderman because Nico Volgamuth has really been shooting the ball well. And that continues here as he finds that hole down the middle. Spreiderman will put it into play, trailing one nothing here in the third game. And goes along that wall. It's been a productive pass for Spreiderman. That fast wall. Tony fires it home here, and he's starting to heat up on the three rod. We're tied at a game apiece. We're tied at a goal apiece here in game number three. And that one knocked down, almost stolen away by Spreiderman. Picked up again here by Nico. And intercepted and stolen away by Spreadman, who will shoot for the lead. Tony tried to go out to that far side. Nico gets a piece of it and then grabs the rebound. Looking like he wants to shoot here as he steps back into offensive position. Tried to bring that pull shot across. Poked forward with the left hand by Tony, keeping it off of Nico's three rod. Volgamuth again will have possession of it at goal and this time will use the left hand to pass it. He now steps into the forward position, tried to go quickly along that near wall, chipped back the other way by Tony. And again, the left hand of Volgamuth. Almost stolen away by Spreiderman. Still 1-1 here in game number three. It's been a good one so far, and another steal here by Tony. And the quick conversion to the far side. That's a play that Tony likes to use, and nine times out of ten when Tony shoots that shot, he scores it. Volgamuth along the near wall. Kind of a big possession here for Nico. And he turns it over. You can kind of sense things kind of shifting in the other direction as far as momentum is concerned. Tony leading 2-1 here in game three. And pass nicely along that far wall by Nico. Tony out there waiting for him on that brush up. And Nico able to squeeze it along that near wall and gain another possession here. Quick shot near side, knocked back towards his goal. The left-handed effort blocked by Spreiderman. Nico will slow things down a little bit here and look to advance it two rod to five. And again, the third steal of the game, I believe, from Tony Spreiderman, who quickly fires it home to that near side. It's 3-1. We talked about that possession at 2-1 being kind of a big one for Nico. You don't want to fall too far behind the Tony Express. That left-handed shot attempt, I think he was trying to bank that. Tony with the rebound. Spreiderman fires that one down the middle with a left-handed pull kick. It's 4-1. A big performance here from Tony Spreiderman in game number three. Nico puts it into play, trying to go with a quick left hook. Grabbed on the rebound by Spreiderman. Tony banks this one off the inside wall, grabs the rebound, sets it up, tried to come back down the middle. Nico with a block. Spreiderman 
Looking to work the far side. That one angled towards the goal. Nico had the left hand back there to keep it out. Volgamuth now will step back into offensive position and have it taken away by Tony. I believe that's four steals here in this game from Tony Spreidemann. Quick shot far side. Nico with a block. When you fall behind like this, when you're behind 4-1, you don't necessarily want to change things. You don't want to try to come back in a hurry. Just keep playing the game that got you into this position. That one does not go in. Volgamut and another steal here. Is that number five in the game? Shot down the middle, another block, a quick shot attempt by Volgamut, picked up by Nico on the five. He'll step into the forward position and brush it through to his three. Again, take your time, work it back one goal at a time. That one, though, blocked up into the ear and off the table by Tony, who will put it back into play at goal. Spreidemann looking to shoot, sends that one off the far wall, that back wall, then tried to grab it, but Nico able to contain it. Use the left hand to send it nicely down the middle. It's 4-2. Very clever with that left hand, just like the man across the table from him. I know early in Tony Spredeman's career, 90% of the time he was passing two rod to five. But over the years, he starts to use it to shoot more and to work other plays. And now, Tony, another chance to win this third game as he sets it up, strokes it home. It's two games to one. Nico Volgamuth won the first game. Tony Spredeman has responded with two consecutive wins to surge ahead two games to one. And now Tony just a game away from his first international world championship in singles. Volgamuth. Able to get that one all the way out there to that far side. Big shot there from Nico Volgamuth. Makes it one nothing. Of course, the name of this event has changed. It's now a World Series event, but I think most of us in the table soccer world still consider these individual World Series as World Championships on that particular table. Tony went with that quick flip over for our side. This time, Nico was there to make the block. That's the one time in 10, I suppose, that he doesn't score that. Does pick it up and then sprays that one to that near corner. Didn't mean to go to the corner, was trying to bring it down the middle. But we're even up at a game of, at the rather at a goal apiece here in this fourth game. Technically, Volgamut has been very good on both the five and the three. It's it's been the transition game of Tony Spreidman that has been successful for him. Tony has shot it pretty well on the three rod, but it's his overall table management, his singles approach, that has allowed Tony to take the two games to one lead. And his quickness, of course, as well. Transition game being when you go from offense to defense, from goalie to forward, forward to goalie, defense to offense as well. Volgamuth, oh, that's a beautiful shot there as he brings it over, cuts it back. And Nico Volgamuth surging ahead here, 3-1. Tony brushing this one through. Nico trying to send this World Series by laying hard open singles final down to one final game if he can Tony shot attempt straight up, then straight back down. And I think we're just going to pick up play here. 
as Deco will put it back into play, leading 3-1, trailing two games to one. Nice pass, two to the five. Pass attempt taken away by Tony. Who knocks it backwards, and Nico able to pick it up again on his five. Spreadman with the block. That one back towards the goal. Tony with some good five-row defense there. But he trails 3-1 here in the fourth game. Yeah, it's able to make the steal here. Spreadman. Walks it. Waits. Trying to take it back out to that far side. Blocked by Volgamut. Two to the five. Five to the three. And now looking to go from his three rod to the back of the goal. Germany is Nico Volgamut. And he's able to cut that one in. I think he was trying to cut it back down the middle. He was anticipating Tony bringing that far man over. Either way, it's now 4-1. And the shooting percentage of Nico Volgamut in the match has got to be better than 60 to 70%. He has shot it very well. Tony. Is it taken away by Nico? Quick shot attempt by Volgamuth. Blocked. It'll come back to Nico, who this time will look to pass. And he does so nicely along the near wall. And that one's going to trickle in, and we are even at two games apiece. Nico Volgamuth won the first game of this Open Singles Final. Tony Spredeman won the next two and did it rather quickly. And then Nico Volgamuth turned it back around, winning game number four in a somewhat one-sided manner. And we open up game number five with Tony Spredeman putting it into play, brushing it through that near lane and having the first scoring opportunity of this fifth game. Spredeman takes a look. Tried to come near side, blocked and taken away by Nico Volgamuth. Nico using the left hand. And almost thrown away again by Tony. In fact, it is a steal as he knocks it forward from his five to his three. And another chance for Tony to score first here in this fifth game. And he does as he finds that near corner. So Spredeman's defense has been very good against the two to the five passing series in particular. He has earned several extra possessions. Got one there and created a goal out of it. And a one nothing lead here in the fifth. And the steal here and sent immediately in with the five. It's 2 nothing. Again, the defense on the five this time turns into instant offense for Tony Spredeman. And the block here, and that one's sent in. It's 3 nothing. You see Nico Volgamuth starting to get frustrated, understandably. A little slow in reacting to that last one as it kind of trickled in. He does come right back here, passing it through and setting it up. Volgamuth. Tried to come back down the middle, blocked and saved by Spredeman, who is turning it up here in game number five, but that is not a surprise for this great player. Again, using the left hand here. Tony almost with a steal again. And that shot on goal with the left. Rebound grabbed on the five by Volgamut. Trying to get back into it here in game number five. He bounces this one through that near lane. And it does find the hole here. Hit off Tony's men and then split the Spreadman defense to make it 3-1. 
What a great experience this must be for Nico Volgamuth, who had a nice run through the qualification bracket in order to get into the elimination bracket and then really beat some top players in that as well. But he now trails 4-1 here in the fifth game. It is championship point for Tony Spredeman. But a great experience for Nico Volgamuth, only going to make him a better player. Here he is playing in a world final against one of the great players in the history of the sport. And he has played well, but now Tony can win it. Spredeman's quick shot goes wide of the goal. And you would think that Nico will take the lessons that he has learned here in this match, and it, it will make him a better player. And it won't be the last time we see Nico Vogelmoth in a final. Of course, he still has a chance here. But Tony can close the deal right here. And he does. So Tony Spredeman defeats Nico Vogelmoth to win the 2019 World Series by Leonhardt Open Singles Championship. What a great performance from the American who wins his first title ever, his first world championship ever on a table that isn't titled Tornado. Tony Spredeman is the 2019 champion on Leonhardt.